the sections. And look here, this is another feature to remember too, that when you're thinking about dermatophytes, check in the hair follicles because sometimes you have dermatophytes extending down the hair follicles. You can see it right here and it's kind of got a purplish stain. Normally, again, dermatophytes are clear on H&E and, you know, like Malassezia or Pitrosporum and also Candida are almost always bluish purple like this. But every once in a while, and I don't know why it is, every once in a while I'll see dermatophytes actually show up and be visible as a purplish blue on H&E. But most of the time in, in my lab, at least in my experience, they usually are clear. But you can see them here. Look, there's one, there's one, here's one, there's one, a little bit up here. So... And when, in some cases, they can go down and just involve the hair shaft in which we call, you know, particularly like in tinea capitis on the scalp, and we call that either endothrix or ectothrix pattern of, of infection. And in those cases, you may not have any on the surface. So don't forget to check the hair follicles. And sometimes, there, look, there's like no inflammation. This follicle has spongiosis, 